This video is sponsored by Smiling. Okay, I really got- I had nothing for this. Come on, what else would it have been by? Smile 2 is directed by Parker Finn and was released in theaters last weekend. Now, I'm not going to smile like that the whole review. That would be... That would be a pain on my jaw. But it would also be very creepy. Uh, but it would match this movie because this movie is incredibly creepy. Uh, the first Smile movie, I really enjoyed it, guys. I'll be honest. I enjoyed it. Uh, now, I haven't watched it since I first watched it. Uh, I just didn't have the time to watch it in time for this movie. But I was excited for the sequel. Let me just tell you right now, it does not disappoint. But if you haven't seen the first Smile movie or, of course, Smile 2, this review will contain spoilers. We're going to have a non-spoiler section to start off. I'm just going to give you two or three minutes of me overall telling you guys what I think of the film, giving you guys a rating at the end, and uh, then we are going to get into some spoilers. And uh, let me just say this, uh, at the time of filming this, we have just hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for everyone that watches these movie reviews, media dumpster, anything else that I do on the channel. I appreciate you. So, uh, and I, I will have some kind of special within the next few weeks, I'm sure. Uh, I just gotta think of something. But, anyway, let's get into this here. So, Smile 2 stars Naomi Scott, who gives an absolutely awesome performance as Sky Riley, who we focus on in this movie. Um, she is a pop star, and she... <laughs> it's funny, we've had two movies that are, like, taking place in, in like, a concert atmosphere uh, that are, like, got some, like, horror elements to it. Uh, of course, the other one being Trap, uh, the directed by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. And uh, in this movie, they really use that to their advantage following a pop star that is kind of dealing with the, you know, obviously the the things that come with, you know, being famous. And uh, there's an inter interesting twist that they put into uh, her character that I'm going to get into during spoilers. And I'm, I'm not sure if it was teased a whole lot in the uh, overall uh, synopsis of the film or if it was teased at all in the trailers. So I'm going to keep that till I get to the spoilers. But... They do a very interesting thing with her character that makes the the situation that she's in that much more uh, intense, and you you really do care for her. I cared about Rose in the first movie, but I really really cared for Sky Riley in this. I felt terrible for her, especially when you have Naomi Scott really pouring her heart into this. I mean, she is going for the emotional, the physical performance here. Everything is flawless with that. She might give one of, if not the best horror performance of the year so far. So. Uh, great job on her part. Uh, Parker Finn, as our director, does a nice job, man. Really great. Uh, this is only his second film. He only did Smile and Smile 2, and they have both been really great films. Very well made, very well shot. The cinematography is great. The way he builds suspense is very nice. Um, and, you know, even though, yeah, you do have jump scares, this movie doesn't overall rely on jump scares. It really relies on those quieter moments that you have during the film where you might be looking at something and then you, something will totally cut you off guard that they scare you with. It's really, really, uh, genius in that way. And, uh, overall, guys, Smile 2 is just a really great follow-up sequel. It takes things from the first movie that may feel, feel a little bit familiar, uh, certain twists and turns here that may you know, uh, call back to the first movie, uh, the ending is one that everyone is gonna be, you know, having in the back of their minds, like, is this where it's gonna go? It's probably gonna end up what you're thinking, uh, it's, it's probably gonna end up that way, that, that, at least that's how it ended up for me, which isn't a complaint, uh, you know, because I already had that in the back of my mind before we even went into this movie, uh, before we even had trailers, and I was just hearing about it, focusing on a pop star and stuff like that, but all that will get into spoilers, but... Uh, I'm going to get into the spoilers now. Uh, overall, guys, I really loved Smile 2. It's a really fantastic follow-up to the first film. Like I said, Naomi Scott gives an unforgettable performance. Parker Finn is great in the director's chair. It builds tension. It doesn't let you catch your breath. It is a really, really fun time at the movies. Uh, so I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I really, really had a good time with it, guys. It's worth checking out for sure. If you've already seen Terrifier 3, give yourself another horror trip to the theater to go see Smile 2. So, let's get into the spoilers. So, entering the spoilers, the thing I wanted to talk about regarding Sky Riley is that they make her a character that has a history with substance abuse. And that's a very touchy subject. 
uh, when it comes to horror. They can do all kinds of messed up shit with that kind of character. And they do in this movie. You have her obviously freaking out because she witnesses the death of her friend Lewis who slams this, this weight repeatedly into his face. Very brutal stuff. The face crumbling. Man, the visual and, and practical effects in this are awesome. A big step up from the first movie. Because some of the first movie, a little bit of the blood was looking kind of fake-ish. The effects weren't all the way there except for that ending one. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, but everything in this, really awesome stuff. Uh, great job to the uh, effects department. Uh, and uh, like, she, like I said, she witnesses the death of her friend Lewis. And through that, she gets the smile entity passed on to her because Lewis got it from uh, Kyle Gallner's character in the opening of the film because he was in the end of the last movie. He witnessed Rose die. Therefore, her smile curse was transferred to him. In the beginning of this movie, he fails to transfer it over to somebody else before he dies until ultimately he gets hit by a vehicle and it's passed on. To, to Lewis because he did witness uh, Kyle Gallner's character kill uh, two guys there. So, brutal stuff. Uh, right off the bat, it hits you with a, a really... A, a shot of adrenaline. That's what this entire movie has. It's the first movie, but it's more intense. You have uh, a bit higher stakes. You have a character that I connected to a bit more. I really felt for her. And, uh, yeah, you have Sky Riley really struggling with the smile entity, playing games with her, making fans smile at her and be all creepy and obsessed with her. It really is some captivating stuff. It keeps you on your toes. And, uh, like I said, where she has a history of substance abuse, abuse, uh, people that see her freaking out over the smile entity think, oh, she's using again. And I felt terrible for her in the, that situation. That sucks. That really does. And like I said, Naomi Scott completely sells it, man. Let me tell you, she's been in some shit. Like, she has been in Aladdin, and I think Charlie's Angels, and I think maybe that Power Rangers movie. Not very good stuff, but man, she has finally found a director and a script that gives her the thing that she needs to be not only a great performer, but deliver a great movie as a result of her performance. So, that, I mean, really, I can't credit her enough for this movie. Um, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll go right to the end of the movie. You have a bunch of great twists and turns throughout. Uh, you have her best friend, who is estranged because she apparently was really mean to her at one time. She comes back into her life and kind of helps her out, you know, tries to have her process everything that's going on with the death of Lewis and stuff like that. Uh, and you think, hey, this best friend character is really nice, but unfortunately I'm sure she's going to die. Because uh, there's a scene where Skye's mother dies by the, Sky, by the smile entity, and Skye runs out of there. I mean, she gets a gun from one of the security guards and sprints out of there. And the best friend is like, I'm going to drop everything and go with you. And then Skye gets a call on her phone, and it's the best friend, who is also simultaneously driving in the vehicle with her. And you're like, wait. Is the smile entity been? Has the smile entity been her the whole time? And that's exactly what it is because the the girl says on the phone, "I haven't been to your apartment in like a year, over a year." But she was there earlier in the film, so the smile entity has been with her in her best friend's form for almost the entire film, which I thought was a crazy good twist because they do something similar to that in the first movie with the therapist, but it's only in that one scene. It's not like the therapist is a constant thing throughout the entire th film that the smile entity is portraying itself as. No, this is a character that we actually like get to know a little bit, like the backstory of and stuff like that, and there are some nice moments between her and Sky Riley. And it turns out that was, that was just the smile entity playing tricks on her. Really messed up stuff. Uh, and towards the end of the movie, you think that maybe Sky is going to beat the smile entity. She gets the upper hand on her and... and Manages to uh, bite her fingers as it's trying to make her smile and everything. But uh, as Sky is saying, I'm in control. You're not You're not getting the best of me. And the, their entity reveals, you've never been in control. I'm in control. And apparently her mom didn't die. Like A lot of the stuff in the movie that we've been seeing has not happened. It's just been this entity fucking with her mind. And we are on her tour stage where she goes out there. The entity comes out in its true form, which is, if you've seen the first movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's fucking disturbing and creepy. And 
it, it, it kills her. It kills Riley uh, by obviously taking control of her, climbing inside of her. I mean, it takes, it rips her mouth open, climbs inside of her, and then, like Rose in the, at the end of the first movie, makes her unalive herself by repeatedly slamming the microphone into her head until it goes through her eye. And that is in front of thousands of people in the stadium in Madison Square Garden that have lined up to see her. So now all of those people have the smile entity attached to them now. That's a crazy way to end your film. So if they do another film, which, God, I hope they do because I really enjoyed this one, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I hope if you, if you haven't seen the film that you aren't watching this right now, because seriously, I do not want any of this stuff spoiled for you. Even if you think that's where it's going, just the experience of it, the way it's shot and everything, the way it, it they, they get it across to you, is so blunt. It's such a mean film, it really is. Uh, but I had fun with it nonetheless, guys, so go out and see Smile 2 if you haven't already, but I hope you have, because, uh, I really don't want you guys to spoil this for yourself. But if you have seen it, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Thanks once again for 1,000 subscribers. I'm so happy that we finally made it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and goodbye.